Welcome to Coombe Mill. This video is designed to help you find your way around when you first arrive and see you into your property. Uh, my name's Fiona and I live here on the farm along with Farmer Nick who you'll see in the mornings and our six children. Um, we're around all the time if you need to speak to us um, or see us face to face otherwise much of what you'll need during your stay can be attained online um, through videos, through the website and through information in your property um, if you'd rather have a, a, no, a no contact holiday in these uh, post COVID times. So I'm going to swap the switch the camera around and take you through a little how to show yourself in when you first arrive. So this sign that was in the background just now you'll see from whichever angle you approach Coombe Mill and that takes you down the lane Whichever way you come in, you'll see signs for our reception, which you'll, there we go, there's one there. When you come in, if you just park up in the car park area here, the arrows will guide you in. And there is the sign for reception and shop. When you arrive, the door will most likely be ajar. There's a notice on the front giving you some basic instructions and asking you to come on in and collect a key from the board up here. You'll find a welcome notice, house name and guest name going down. And if you just select your key, so if we imagine for a minute you're staying in Miller's house, take your key. It then requests on the table in front of you. There's a sheet for writing down names for the tractor rides. So this is Miller's house and we, under the name of Smith and we have Jimmy Smith written there for the tractor rides. There are also a couple of sheets with all the property names and surnames on where you can write purchases from the shop. No need to leave any money. Just write down what you've taken out and help yourself. And the shelves in here have got basic basics on them so that's reception if you then know what you're doing and you know where your property is you can go straight there if you need more assistance there's a bell on the door of reception just there if you ring that it will be an intercom through to our house and I can help you further if you are staying in Miller's house Watermill or Eden you'll want to stay parked in the car park as you arrived. If you're staying in Poles F, Heligan, Pencaro, Trabar or Trevano, they are down the path ahead of us and you can access those by car and park outside. If you come back to the car park, collect your car, turn out of the car park past our log store at the entrance there, turning right and if I just zip down here you come round the corner out the car park turning right and then go up the hill that you can see ahead of us there you may well have come in this way round the corner and turn first right again follow the path all the way down to the end over the cattle grids and you can park outside the lodges right there you'll find more information inside each of the individual properties about your stay and facilities on offer Hope you have a lovely holiday with us. Welcome to Heligan and Pencaro Lodges. They're the last two lodges along the little path that runs back to the Coombe Mill car park, but they're accessed directly via car around the back. So if you go out of the Coombe Mill car park, turn right and right again, you'll come down at the back there where you'll park. And then if you walk down, you'll see the names of the properties either side. They're both very similar inside so I'm just going to look for now to show you around at Pencaro but this also applies for Heligan. So into the veranda and open the door. You'll find when you come inside on the kitchen table three sheets of paper. The first one is a cleaning checklist that everything is ready for you. The next two sheets of paper are updates on everything at Coombe Mill during your stay. So from activities taking place, things that are open, 
how to be socially distancing on um, play areas and clothes to borrow from the borrow room and all the other things all detailed on these two sheets of paper they're printed off each week um, so that we can adapt them and change them as the season progresses and keep up to date with uh, the latest government advice. Extra information you'll find in the Coombe Mill booklet that's very comprehensive on everything about the property and places out and about. But do just be aware that that was written pre-COVID. So for the latest up-to-date changes from the booklet, do refer to the sheets of paper that will be inside on the table there. In terms of the heating in Heligan and Pencaro, we've got night storage heaters in the living room. They are just switched on and off at the wall with the switch to the side. And there's a control panel here for input and output that you probably won't need to touch that. Just switching it on at the wall to do everything that you need. In the bedrooms, of which there's upstairs and downstairs, they all have little electric heaters, which again, you can just turn on at the wall and vary the amount of heat coming through the switch above. Finally, under the stairs, we have the hot water, which is up here. That should be on a timer when you arrive, switched on like that. Um, don't try and alter the timer. There should be plenty of hot water using the timer. If you need more, because everybody's having a bath at the same time or something, there's a boost button here. So just turn the boost button in the direction of the arrow. The light there will come on so that you know it's on and that will boost the hot water for you. If you do it by mistake, turn it all the way around and back to zero. So that's for your, your hot water. Trip switches below should the electric trip out for any reason. Hopefully you won't need those. And then below that is the meter box. This is for all the electric in Pencaro. Everything is electric, so just be aware it's here. This central dial here is the one you're watching. That shows it's just below um, a quarter full in here at the moment. It takes one pound coins, which go in the slot here. Turn it round, you'll hear your pound drop down. The dial will move round towards full. If you turn it back to the open slot, you can add another pound in. When the dial there reaches red, it won't take any more pound coins. As a guide, I usually say about 10 pounds in summer for a week and more like 20 pounds in winter for a week, heating being the, the main variation on that. And that's what you need to know to enjoy a week in either Pencaro or Heligan on holiday with us.